Whoa! Oh, that scared me, dude. back to another YouTube video. So today I'm at the park. It's pretty windy. We got squirt with us. We're going to be cruising and I want to show you guys this scooter that I got from MGP and I really want to show you because it it's so freaking cool. But before we do that, we're going to ride on my normal scooter for a little bit and have a good session and get some bangers done. You ready? Let's go. The last time I'll be at uh, Brander for a few days. Oh God. Oh man. I just nearly ate crap. But it's pretty windy today. I have a scooter that I really want to test out for a video. I actually tested this exact scooter for the Mad Gear channel, which that video came out before this one, obviously. So if you guys want to see that one, it is up in the cars. Well, we got Squirt here. Sonny boy he tried triple loops the other day and he didn't get it. So he's like, let's be stupid and try it on the hip, which makes no sense. But I mean, it's getting closer. Surprising to me. Like watch. Dude, he's nearly got it. He literally couldn't get nearly that close flyout, which makes absolutely no sense to me, but hey. Okay, so I'm gonna be kind of a jerk and show him up. <laughs> I mean, it looks easy because well, I've been doing it for ages. Yeah, so we're just at the park. I wanna get a few tricks and then the scooter I wanna test is actually over there. It's so cool, I cannot wait to show you. You know what's funny? I've never triple heeled the big hip. Not like the, the, the front side one, downside. I've never done it. Get a lot of speed, check a manual, okay? And we'll triple whip it this way. Easy money. Stole the gate, whoa, okay. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, that was scary. Oh, that was real scary. Woo, okay, that was actually like, uh, that was that was not very, you know, non-scarableness. That was probably the biggest triple heel front side that I've ever done. All right, we're gonna 270 the big one and then 270 double downhill the, the, the next big one, okay? I, that sounds like a plan. Just like these, whip rewind, easy money, and then 270, good. Oh man. Oh, no speed. No speed at all. Try one more time. I think I just gotta go a little slower, which is kind of funny that I say that, but I definitely do. Oh! Okay, that was one. I think I'm gonna take that. I can't get enough speed from that hip. All right, well, the kicker's in the good spot. Now we can do some freaking full center roonies. I haven't done a whip rewind rewind in like low key forever. First twice, does that sound like a good idea? I will never be speaking like that again. That was a horrible idea. I fully regret saying that. Oh boy, first rewind rewind in a minute. Oh God, no speed. Dude, that wind just said absolutely not. The ramp is being blown by the wind. Well, that went uh, pretty much south right off the bat. Oh, try again. No, oh, my God, dude. What the heck? I like completely forgot how to do this. Let's not absolutely stink. And this will be third try of the charm. Ready? Freaking bodied, bro. Okay, let's not get absolutely like destroyed on this. The commitment was there, but my scooter wasn't. Yeah. All right, ready? This is it. See, I freaking told y'all. What did I say? Uh, light work. Hear me out. I've been trying to do this in a line for a while now. I want to do stall the gate, whip in, whip front to flare whip. All right, ready? Oh my God, that was scary. Ready? Whip front. Oh, perfect. Ready? All right, this is the hard part. Oh, and we made it. So barely, but I'm counting that. I was probably about this close to landing on the coping, but we survived. I was almost 95% sure I was going over my bars to kiss the ground, but we made it out. Should I go against my own, like my beliefs and do a kickless whip? Yes. <laughs> Just if you didn't know, me and Raymond, Raymond Warner being the guy who refuses to play me at Scoot for whatever reason, which is kind of stupid. Maybe she's just scared, but we both hate kicks. I'm probably better than him, Adam. Shots fired. All right, anyway, whatever. Ah, <laughs> dude, I hate that trick, but I'm like not even that bad at it. Like, I bet you I could low key do that trick air. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try it. Oh, I could. It's so slow. Second go. See, bro, I swear, I'm not bad at it. I just I don't like it. I mean, sure, it was like slightly sketchy, but like, I, I'll live with it. Dude, I haven't inworded this box in like probably three months. I want to do it again, because I don't like that trick, though I don't hate it. This junk better be first, go. Oh yeah, easy freaking money dollar bills. 
All right, well, that was a pretty good warm up session. I think it's just about time to test that baby out. Okay, so this is the Mad Gear Pro Renegade Pro complete this is a super affordable scooter for anybody who's like between like the ages of six and like 14 i think it would fit anybody just between that age absolutely perfectly and this is one of the cheaper mad gear scooters that they make but oh my goodness it does not act cheap trust me like the look of this thing like obviously i grinded it up a little bit but it's so shiny dude now when i rode this thing before i noticed that the deck is literally five inches wide that is the same width as my pro one so this beautiful thing is five inches wide by 19.5 inches long so it's it's like a perfect starting deck for like younger people it like genuinely has like the lightest bars i've ever felt because they're made of chromoly steel which is a little bit heavier than aluminum and a little bit heavier than titanium but much stronger so they are quite a bit more difficult to break but here's my favorite part ready it weighs so little i'm not joking when i say this this thing weighs just about the same as mine and i run titanium bars and that that scares me a lot in like a very 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 positive way now obviously these bars are pretty short on me because while well, they're meant for a younger person i'm like 17 about to turn 18 very soon so this thing is a little small on me but trust me for some of you guys that are watching mm, this is gonna be perfect for you so they got these really soft grips which i wasn't expecting them to be this soft but they're like this really cool like purple and black swirl kind of color and obviously they match the deck it's got that purple finish with the green and blue and then there's these one 10 millimeter wheels which are super cool they spin so good like bro these bearings are mint yeah but this thing is so light like bro if you want to learn how to do like bri flips and overheads like buttercups and stuff dude it's so easy on this Whoa! Oh, that scared me, dude. Yeah, and the deck is just good enough to the point where you can like actually do like normal grinds, like a, be comfortable at a 50 or a feeble. So like learning it on this is gonna be so effortless. Like bro, watch this. I just lock in the 50s like nothing else. Same thing with feebles, like bro, it's like not even trying. And it's so light. Like bro, doing overheads is so easy. Let me show you. Ugh. Ready, I'll do it on the hip because it's even smaller. Bro, it's so easy. Like, dude, the size of this thing for like the price and the weight. Oh my God, it's a match made in heaven. I mean, if you're clearly interested, which I don't see why you wouldn't be, like look how beautiful it is. If you guys want one of these, there is a link in the description. You can use code BODIED, B-O-I-D-I-E-D. -I -E what, what, that is not how you spell it. The code is BODIED, B-O-D-I-E-D. -E it saves you 10% off the entire website. So if you want one of these, you can get it for cheaper. Now I am going to steer away from flaring this thing because it is a little small, but I think we could do some like other tricks like Bar feeble, bar in, and then we'll do a triple up on the hip. Oh, not, we will not. Dude, these bars are like low key freaking short on me. I'm about to get arthritis just riding this. This thing is like perfect if you're between like the height of like four feet, five inches, or like five foot, like two, you'd be chilling. I'm also, I'm like five eight, maybe five nine, so this thing is a little bit small for me. And bro, I'm telling you, like doing tricks on this thing, it's so stupidly easy. Like everything is so light. And like you can still nose manual and stuff, which is kind of surprising low-key. And honestly, I usually not be a huge fan of Neochrome, but dude, this makes it look so nice. The freaking blue and purple, mmm, it's on point. Alright, let's see if she does good on the hubbas. Oh bro. Too perfect. Like I said earlier, you could do 50-50s on this. And you can do front 50s. Like front side's even easier too. This thing is also really convenient. Like putting it together was like two bolts, I think. All right, can she kick this good? Cause the deck is really like, I don't really like doing kickless kicks, but I know a lot of you guys do. Oh my goodness, it's so weird. Hold up, maybe I gotta do it on the hip. Yep, that was the answer. That was too easy, bro. Like genuinely, if you want a scooter to learn like bri flips, buttercups, kick assist, rewinds, this is where it's at. Especially if you've never like hopped on a scoot before. It's beautiful. Squirt actually rode this thing earlier and he said he really liked it, which is a lot to say because he's a lot younger. I think he's 13. I believe it or not, I didn't think he was 13. He looks way younger than that. But the point is, he liked it. He's a younger kid like most of you guys are. I think we should test the 50 abilities a little bit more. Easy, perfect, whip in. Little bar backlip stall, easy for a whip in. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see if a bridle bear feels nice. Bro, I literally am putting like 10% effort into all these tricks. And like I said, I'm not gonna flay this thing because the bars are really small on me and that's like not ideal. But dude, I'm telling you, this thing survives a good beating, which is really impressive for so for such a most of like an affordable price. It's crazy how good Mad Gear scooters are. Like it actually still blows my mind. Like even though that's like, I'm not even being like biased or anything because I am on the team. I am spot, I am a professional rider for them, but they really do kill it. Like this thing is absolutely amazing. Like bro, so light oh yeah and she can also manual like look at this manual smith wow perfect uh. 
E, C. Decade. Yeah, let's go. I was not expecting to land that on this. Let's see if she can jump the whole box. Oh yeah, bro, everything is so easy on this thing. I'm telling you, bro, if I run this thing, I'd look stupid because it's so small. If I'd be doing all the freaking double overheads that's known to man. I think 360 over the whole thing sounds like a good idea. Should we just try it? Hey! Oh yeah, light work. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. That, that seemed like it survived those tricks to me. Like those are some pretty high level tricks. This thing has no issues with it. So there you have it. This thing can survive some of my favorite tricks, which are pretty freaking difficult to some people. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll catch y'all next time. Later.